guess who's back guys I have heard I've been missed I have been busy but we snuck up here today December 23rd before the holiday season and such so super pretty out Guess that's how she's gonna be. Turkey. Leave it there. Come back and get one. I'm so happy to be up north, guys. I'm supposed to heat a diesel up. So I don't know if I plug in that generator or turn the generator on and turn that heater core thing on for I have a feeling that takes like hours. We're having a little bit of uh, snowmobile problems. There comes the chocolate lab named Timber. Titi, are you so happy? Loves the snow. I think my expectations are too high for that snowmobile. <laughs> There's the hole that it got stuck in. Massive hole. Just a little tiny freaking hole. But 
that thing i don't know it's fine it's 20 it's a 93 i think or 92 so it's freaking 30 years old so i guess i can't have too much high expectations for it but all right guys well i think this winter is going to be hard so i think we're just gonna have to travel light i don't think the snowmobile is going to be an asset as much as i was hoping it would be go up to the cabin and try to get a little couple projects done but i think we're going to be definitely not going to be jenny and i riding that thing comfortably and frolicking through the woods it guys Ooh. ready to move up here full time uh, not quite yet lover right. the uh chimney pipe still standing guys that's good most of the snow has slid off. There's my wood pile. Good thing I put that up there. I thought, well, the snow is completely off this side. So that's good, no weight. No weight on the roof. All right, guess what time it is, guys? It's first fire time. So let's get some of this dead pine branches. Plenty of it here. Hopefully we don't burn the cabin down. Definitely need to take that pine tree down. At least that one. <laughs> you never said that. Yep. There's a bunch of it right there. Just easy like to get to. It, uh, and it's dead. Stuff you like have. I, I told you not to do the ladder thing four months ago, five months ago. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I didn't say you're an idiot. You just don't listen to me. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes your wife does know what she's talking about. Sometimes the blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go start the first fire. There's a glove. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I didn't do yet. I was going to put that dampener in. should probably do that real quick. How do you do this? Just drill a hole on either side of this pipe. You can see that divot up there. That tiny little. Yeah, can you see it? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, guys. I put this. I'm putting this dampener in because we don't have a ton of, of chimney pipe in here gonna help slow the burn and hold the heat what you do is you drill a hole on either side straight across what I did was drill a hole on this side and then I made sure this fit in and then made sure it turned made sure it turned properly and then I tapped it so it left a little uh, nipple over here or a little dimple and then I drilled it out on that side so now we gotta stick this guy in this goes through here like this and then you turn this and get it all the way to the other side of that like that and then this opens and closes inside the chimney pipe 
So and then I got to put the final screws in like we talked about in the one video and we're going to start our first fire. Woohoo! First fire in the wood stove. All right. That hole is a little too big. I'm not impressed with that. <laughs> I thought I had the right size drill bit, but it's close enough, so. Put a few screws in it. I couldn't find black screws, of course. So this will have to do for now. And All right. Put three on each. Uh, seam that way if you just did two it could still wobble back and forth so you do three and then it makes it pretty solid so mama's gonna make you a nice fire just like at home okay mama's gonna make you a nice fire <laughs> what? What? guys he really wants a fire he's cold he's used to in a nice cozy house. Cozy house. I like it cozy. Jason likes it. This is about my temperature right here. Jason would prefer it to be this temperature all the time. scraps from the splitter. Really cold pipes guys and we don't have a straight shot and it's coming out my little hole. So this is real life. <laughs> you could put a candle or something in there and let it it'll start drafting it's already starting to there we go see that's what I was worried about is this. stuff like that well, so what smoke coming out the top of it because we jobbled it around but once you get a draft, it should be fine. But I don't know. Like I said, joggling it around all this much. See, it's going to start. Oh, yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. But we had smoke coming out of the chimney. Woohoo! First fire going successfully in the wood stove here at the off grid cabin. stuff in the side more than anything. Yeah, I don't know. Like this. I don't know if that's going to be lifted out. And we can put sealer. Or maybe we can put some of that uh, stuff in from the inside. Or maybe once it gets warm, it'll... I doubt once it gets warm, it'll do anything, but... Alright guys, we've had the fire burning for what? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 
Everything seems to be burning good. Uh, the pipe, the stove pipe is just now getting hot enough. To burn. And I'm going to open it up. It's starting to smoke pretty bad, so it's burning off that paint stink. So I'm going to go up in the loft so we don't sit here and suck that in any more than we have to and open that window so it can just suck it right out. You happy now, Titi? Huh? Jenny's a happy girl. I like warm. Okay, guys. You can see in the background we got a fire going. Uh, we want to get it warming up in here. And uh, we got to go get a Christmas tree to set up for the next few days. So let's go. Jenny's got the sawzall because we don't have a hatchet or chainsaw up here. So let's go. We just walked three miles around the property. Oh, here's here's a perfect tree right yeah, here. This is good. Yeah, it looks pretty. It's perfect size too. It's so green and it's so green and lush. Yeah, let's cut it down. Yep. yep. There you go. There you go. Oh, timber. Okay. Oh, cover that up there. You don't want people to see that. All right. There you go. Um, harvested a great northern Michigan pine. Um, this is a species that only grows here in northern Michigan. <laughs> so let's go find a good spot for right it and decorate here on it. on Jay and Jen's property. Yep. <laughs> it's a Jay and Jen spruce. <laughs> yep. Timber likes venison too. Take your butt. Good baby. That fire was hot. That wood that we used was stuff I split two videos ago, a few videos ago. And man, it's like standing dead. I don't know if it's ash. But like everybody calls it ironwood. Like hard, nice hard wood. I didn't think it'd burn that well because I figured it'd be too damp. But it just burned and burned hot. We were going to try to get some projects done for you guys. But my back is absolutely killing me. So we decided just to sit by the wood stove. And enjoy it. First and fire in the wood stove. First fire in the wood stove. We went and harvested our Christmas tree, first first Christmas tree at the off-grid property. <laughs> Here we go, guys. We fired up the generator. 
so we could have some twinkle lights. We got the ambiance of the wood stove, which is amazing. It's like actually warm in here. It's warm in here. Hooray! <laughs> That's gonna let us get lots of projects done next week. Chicken Alfredo. <laughs> Noodly chicken Alfredo mix. Yum. Mm. This is our little table. <laughs> I could have at least flipped it over so the glue wasn't on the top. Jason will make us a table. Maybe Mike will make us a table. That table he was making in his last two videos on a cabin in 50 acres. That's for us. <laughs> He's bringing that up to northern Michigan. He's on his way, actually, for Christmas. <laughs> Mike, I hope you get here in time uh, to bring us our table. So I really appreciate you making that nice folded maple, maple <laughs> tabletop for us. Working hard. with Jay and Jen family. <laughs> Just enjoy the puppy dog being a puppy dog. Don't eat hey, me! Hey. Oh, no, no, no. That's enough. Ben. That's enough, Ben. Ben, no. Hey. <laughs> hey, that's enough. No. Minor bloopers.